um, we're up. Um, What's yeah. the PayPal account that okay. you have for the camp here? Yeah, it's paypal.me uh, slash Reb Massey, um, R-E-B-M-A-S-S-E-Y. Okay, awesome. Can I see the yeah. Yeah. paper here and yeah. we'll show it? Okay. This here is the uh, the address, paypal.me slash Reb Ma slash Massey. Yeah. So... Well, it's, it's slash Reed oh, Massey, yeah. slash Reed Massey, sorry. Yeah, that's okay. So. And then we have a Facebook page that um, we're going to post uh, things that we're immediate in need of um, that people can bring if they're so inclined. Um, Camp Sanctuary um, is on Facebook. It's, it's our page. And uh, we there's an immediate need for funding for gravel for the muddy areas. Um, we're wanting to get a tent, kind of a mess hall type tent for um, kind of a kitchen area. Um, like a military type tent. Yeah, yeah. And then... Um, Greenhouses and plywood for these pillars yeah, here. For the um, yeah. So I'm going to show you guys again. I've already got it recorded once, but I'll show you guys again. Back here we have these pillars, the cement pillars or cement stops that they use on the sides of interstates. And um, basically, these cement stops can be used for the tents um, so that they can actually bring tents in here too. Right now, it's just an RV camp. And you see though they go back for a very long time. So if anybody wanted to donate plywood or anything like that um, to the camp also, that would be grateful. Um, also, a greenhouse of some kind is probably going to be in the works or in the makes of coming out here. And when that comes out here, we wanted to get people out here to also help with the garden, to get the garden going. Um, also needed, they have a well here and they need to get water, sustainable water source, right? Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> and so to get that sustainable water source, what they're gonna need is a filtration system for a well or a filtration pump um, with a filter in it for the well so that they can pump water out of it for the community. So they can have water to shower and, you know, live with and off of. Um, and then they can have their own sustainable food source with a garden and, all that good stuff so but that's what we're out here doing today um we are out here at the camp and basically it's just all rvs right now i'm not going to show you guys the rvs but it's beautiful out here um you know and it's peaceful and quiet and they don't have to worry about a bunch of stuff going on constantly you know so but that's what we've got going on out here today and i'll be doing some filming as i go through a little bit more and a little bit more of course Right. <laughs> Today we are here with Auntie, um, basically at the new camp, at the Sanctuary Camp, here right outside of Seattle. Well, basically in Seattle city, city limits, right outside of the Duwamish Waterways. Georgetown. So, by Georgetown. And it's really beautiful here. Um, nice and quiet, no train tracks, no disruptions, no yeah, horrible but... things like that. So basically what we're out here doing today is, you know, we need the funding and we need supplies and, you know, and so we're interviewing the people. We're talking to the people and asking them, you know, basically, what's going on here? What are you guys doing here and what do you need and, and, and things like that. So basically, I'm going to let her just go off and tell her, tell us what she, you know, needs, basically. So, so you guys are out here at Camp Sanctuary, right? Yeah. And it's beautiful out here, obviously. Yes, it is gorgeous. So, um, you guys are looking to basically have a sustained living, like a community here. Yes, a um, little city. Right, a little city in, yeah. in the city, right? In the city, yes. And, um, you know, you guys are just looking to be residents, you know, people of the We're community. just residents. We're just people like anybody else. Right. We go to the bathroom, we eat, you know, we do everything they do. Right. You know, I lived in a home. And I worked, you know, a lot of my life, most of it. So, yeah, I mean, it's it's all right. I like living like this. It gets a little rough when you're out of money and you run out of gas, propane, you know, to cook with or to heat yourself. And that part I don't like, but we get by. And, um, but we, you know, as far as needs, we need lots of stuff. You know, we need support, number one. And we need, you know, toiletries. We need you know, little Johns, 
I don't know what we call them, potty potties. Porta potties. Porta potties. Definitely need those. We need um, water, food. You know, I mean, people donations of money's food, anything we, we take, you know, and to help us. And it helps all of us. Um, trailers, parts to cars, get, to get them fixed. Um, do our RVs to make our RVs standard, good standard living. Right, and you guys yeah. have a GoFundMe going and everything like that right now, from what I understand. Yes. Um, so, you know, you guys are basically just looking to sustain a community here, you know? Yes, and we are a big family. We, we all love each other. And, you know, we help each other. We feed each other if they need, you know, if somebody is needing food. We help. We get, you know, feed them, care packages, you know, just make them something. My neighbor made me this Aww. this morning. <laughs> yeah, and I have food, but she, you know, she just makes it because she cooks a lot. And I'm out of gas right now. So um, I borrow other people's stoves, portis, portable stoves. Yeah. So portable stoves are good for some of us that don't have stoves. And there are people that don't have them. You know, the people in tents don't have them. Can you explain what a portable stove is to the people who don't know or don't oh, understand? I can actually show you one. Um, um, would you bring it? The uh, stove out, it's right over there on the other side of the cabinet, I believe. Um, there's different kinds. I believe this is more of an expensive kind, but they have some that are cheaper. You know, this runs on any, um, this is running on a five, get, um, a, oh, watch out, um, this is one stove. So it just basically has a burner, sits on top of the can. Yeah, and then you hook it up to propane. Right. And um, this one hooks up to a white tank. And so... A big white tank. Yeah. And then on the tank is a portable heater that you, you put on a tank and it, it warms you up. So here's the portable heater. Yeah, that's that the she portable was speaking heater. Of. You can here take a facial look at it. <laughs> and that just keeps warm. Yeah, like it keeps them warm. Yeah, here, yeah. Right. Yeah, you can't, you, I guess you could probably cook on it if you put it a little sideways, you know, braced it up where it doesn't fall over. I'll put the pans on it. Right, right. And I haven't tried that yet, though. And I probably won't. <laughs> you know, because I'm afraid it would spill. Right. But yeah, we're all pretty happy, you know, as a group. We try to keep, you know, a good, good outlook. There's just things needed yeah, and, and but supplies. Yeah, things needed and, you know, it's hard to go in. We all have, we're all using one porta potty right now. And I mean, it's a homemade porta potty, so yeah. But we have to take care of the, you know, the poo afterwards. And right. Stuff. We have to keep that clean. And so we all, you know, take, we take our own toilet paper down and, you know, we use, um, we keep it clean. You just have to. Everybody has to do their part. Right. And in their, you know, the yard area, we have to keep that clean up. You know, we just have to be clean and cleanly and, you know, we have to worry about, you know, sanitation. We have to. Because right now we don't have flushing toilets. Right. And, um, I mean, I have a toilet that works on board. But, and then I take it up and empty it at the waste site. Yeah. And, um, but I might, right now my RV's not running. I need a couple of little parts to fix it. Then we're, then we're good to go. Yeah. Yeah. And you're ready again. And it's a happy home. It you is. Know. It's nice in here. I mean, it's not bad at all. You got air conditioning and everything like yes. that. Once once it's working, right? Yes, and I try to keep it as clean as possible. Yeah. I haven't got too much stuff piled all up. Some of the people have the, you know, they have, you know, there are a couple a of people by. living with them. Yeah. So, and I just have Baxter, my dog. <laughs> the puppers. Yeah. The puppers. <laughs> Check, take a look at, take a look over here, Beep. Look at the puffers. Yummy. So cute. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> there is the puffers. There, Mr. B. So, you know, we basically, basically, you know, you guys are just sustaining a community, living mm -hmm. off of, you know, what you can. Yes. Um, and, you know, you guys need help out here. You're yes, not, we do. You're not rich. <laughs> no, we're, we're, we're on the poor side of the yeah. bridge. Right, right. I should say the tracks. And it takes a lot to um, to sustain a living out here, just yeah. as you know, 
as people, as a community. Yeah, we, you know. being since we're new to this, we are having meetings every day, and we're getting you know support from just us. We're co reaching out and going to people and seeing if they help. Now we've had um, people picking up the garbage outside the gate. They just ask us to leave it outside the gate, and they pick it up. They, you know, I think it's daily, don't they? Don't they pick it up daily? can't remember. I'm not sure, but <laughs> but I think they pick it up pretty much all the time. Yeah, they. they yeah, I was told they, that it was daily. If daily. you guys put it outside the the thing, they'll come yeah, and pick it up. Fence, so yeah. yeah, and they furnish us with garbage bags. And, right, and yeah. you guys have garbage cans and everything and like that. Got us garbage cans. Yeah. So we each have garbage cans at our trailer. And we're able to, you know, right get our garbage out. And there's enough room. And the thing that I like most about this place is that you guys actually have room for yards. Like you yes, guys can we have, have a yard. We can grow plants right. and we can grow food. Yes. Yes. And yes. I plan on putting a little garden in. Awesome. Yes. Awesome. Yes. And for anybody who wants to come out and help with the garden or help, you know, make the garden or anything like that, they are looking for soil and things like that yes. that'll help and, you know, stuff like that. And extra plants and starters and seeds and, you know, and tomatoes. And there's a mud pit out here. We're looking for gravel, to for everything that we can gravel, for we can get, you know, these traders moved and make make it look nice in here gravel or even extra cedar extra soil extra anything. cedar chunks and you know whatever yes. you know um cedar chunks work well too uh soak in place of gravel water. and they soak yeah. up water yes. and they help with also traction on vehicles too so the snohomish and duwamish people out there that are listening you know keep in mind that when you guys are doing your uh, barking this year of the oak trees to keep all of that extra stuff that you guys don't need and bring it out here i mean they great. right it would be excellent it would help a lot for their traction needs and everything like that it's well used right it'll go well used so i'm gonna end this today folks um we will be back with you in just a few moments to show you the well and the restroom one more time before i get ready to leave thank you very much today auntie i appreciate the visit you're welcome you come back and visit us <laughs> thank you very much all right, folks, I just wanted to show you guys real quick. This is the bathroom that was um, donated to this area. And there's a well back here that needs to be tapped. They need help with that also. So anybody who wants to come out and help tap a well open. Um, there's one back over here in the little forest area. And they need a pump and filter, um, like I said before, so that they can get a sustainable water source from here. Um, and they don't have to deal with not having water. You know, we all need water for showers and baths and, you know, to drink. You know, many Wachoni, you know. So here's a well. And it's quite large. Um, as you can see, there's a bumper fender there. And it's way bigger than the bumper fender. Um, so, but yeah, they need uh, this well tapped. And once they get this well tapped, they can put a pump um, through the middle of this here and uh get a nice a nice you know run of water you know or at least have some rainwater catching or have something for a sustainable water source so i wanted to show you guys that real quick and i will be maybe back with you in just a few moments so i might have a little bit more to film around here Actually, I do want to show you guys another uh, empty part of the lot where they have space open for RVs um, back here in the back. Keep the camera down so we don't show anybody's homes because like we've said before, these are people's homes. This is where they live, you know. Um, but yeah, they've got all this land back here that's all open also. Um, and this is what they're talking about when they say they need gravel, uh, cedar chips, you know, whatever they can possibly get. Um, you know, there's standing water in some of these spots back here. Like here, there's a, a nice little standing water spot. Um, and cedar chips could definitely help take care of that. Or, uh, you know, what, whatever could be used you know um gravel cedar chips you know etc 
this is the stuff that the city is saying they need access to. Um, there's stuff in the middle of this plot of land here uh, that the city said that they're using, but it's state land. So, you know, that's kind of uh, interesting also because nobody's had permission, not even the city, to use this land. This is actual Washington state land. So, and there's Chiago who I've been looking for. But, um, yeah, here's the piles of, of, of whatever this is um, that they said they need to be able to get in and out to get these things. Uh, otherwise, they don't know about permits and things like that on, on how they can uh, have this place or use this place to live. But I think, honestly, that this is a really good spot um, it's out of the way from everybody. They don't have to deal with any... They don't have to, like, be in the way of anybody because that was, you know, Seattle City's biggest thing is that they didn't want anybody, quote-unquote, in the way. Um, so, yeah, you know, my biggest issue with this whole thing is that they're saying that, you know, they need to have... Uh, them out of the way, quote unquote, when I don't believe that, you know, they're ever in the way, but you know how it works, so, and these are pillars for a bridge, um, what they do is they take these and they set them straight up and down in the ground, and um, then they take them and they, they dump mass amounts of cement in them with these uh, big huge things on the outside, big huge, like, basically cardboard drums um but yeah i mean look at all this land back here that they have open that they can use you know this is all usable land for these people and like they said it's beautiful it's peaceful out here you know they're just trying to set up a community trying to set up some kind of you know life and they have yards, you know, they, they're going to try and uh, set up a site map and, and everything like that. And like Auntie said, you know, they have, um, they're setting up meetings every single day for these people. And they're basically taking, you know, everything that they can and collaborating together as a community, um, as a close-knit community, to basically gain something you know have something to call their own because the city just keeps sweeping them over and over and over again and these are the pillars i was talking about earlier that um that are here that they can put plywood up on or whatever else that somebody has available some kind of wood or something like that that somebody may have available and put it up on these and just kind of get them, you know, the tents elevated off of the ground so that there's no problem with rats or anything like that. Um, they don't have tents out here right now, but they want to have a community. And, and, and in order to build a community, they need to have everybody that needs help. Um, you know, they've, they've done so much out here, including purchase RVs for people, you know. Um, the homeless that have tents and things like that um, They have a GoFundMe. They have everything that they possibly, you know They just need help. They need assistance. They need they need help from the people from you from me from everybody out here You know, they need us. They need our assistance and this is the time that we need to reach out and help these people so I'm gonna get back to uh, What I needed to speak about with the other people around here and I'll be right back with you guys. Thank you for following.